Well, good evening to you. It is 63 degrees right now. The humidity level is still running fairly high. And with that 93% humidity, we're starting to see kind of a little hazy look to the uh, sky, uh, to the low level part of the sky near the ground. And so patchy fog is going to be a possibility again tonight. No rain this morning in Topeka, but some areas around uh, the Emporia area, Junction City and Fort Riley, all the way down to Burlington, picked up a pretty nice band of very heavy rain last night. Shouldn't repeat that tonight, though. 60 degrees at Hiawatha. 68 for Junction City in Manhattan and 66 right now at Burlington. The winds have been pushing westward. There's this band of stronger winds moved through the Topeka area between about 4 and 7 p.m. Now it's in our western counties from Manhattan to Concordia. That gust of east wind is actually right underneath some cloud cover that's been spreading westward as well. What it'll do through the night is that continued light east and occasionally northeast wind keeps the moisture pushed a little bit farther west and that's where the clouds will be. This is 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, but as we head through the day tomorrow, humidity starts to build back in and a fairly humid day on Friday. Here's a look at that cloud cover. Started off on the eastern counties. You have to look closely. These are low to the ground clouds, and so they show up as a faint gray on the map. It now extends all the way to about Abilene. You'll see it push right there, Abilene to Concordia. Those clouds are spreading westward and will continue that push to the west along with that wind sweeping across. There's a system up to the northwest of us. We're tracking that system to draw a cold front into our area by Saturday. You've heard a lot of talk this week about the uh, flooding rains over portions of Arizona, now New Mexico into West Texas. That's the tropical moisture associated with what was once Hurricane Odile. That system continues to look to follow a path that's more favorable to Oklahoma or southern Kansas, and it doesn't look like we'll really tap into a lot of that tropical moisture, but we will have at least still a chance for some rain. Well, as we look for a partly cloudy sky to develop some areas of fog and maybe some passing low clouds in the morning. But rather than staying cloudy all day, we should clear out tomorrow and become partly cloudy to sunny during the afternoon and much warmer weather because of it. Even into the daytime on Saturday, here comes a front with a couple of showers along it, but much of the area will stay south of the front with sunshine. Into the afternoon and evening, maybe a couple of showers or storms developing along that front as it pushes on to the south. So there's still a chance for rain, central and south the best chance, but out ahead of that front, it should still warm up quite a bit as we head into your Saturday afternoon. So 62 tonight, patchy fog, really near constant temperatures in the low to mid 60s, and then 85 tomorrow, 88 on Saturday ahead of the rain, but by afternoon and evening, scattered showers and storms, ushering in a cooler day Sunday with 81. Then fall begins on Monday and highs back in the 70s, lows back in the 50s, and a few more scattered showers and storms toward the middle portion of next week, about a 20 to 30 percent rain chance next Wednesday and Thursday. So a couple more hot days to get through. All the recent rain and a lot of the cooler conditions have the grass growing out of control. And I think that's based on the, the looks I get from my neighbors <laughs> because of my yard. So our mo meter make excuses for Saturday. Hey, rain's moving in. You don't want to do that, right? So we could put a yellow light on that one. The morning looks good, though. The rest of the weekend and early next week, green light it. Hard to find an excuse to not mow this lawn. I've eventually got the, get the grass cut. I think uh, many others I've seen around the, uh, around the city falling under the same problem as well. <laughs> Here's what you need. That mower from your mower meter. It just did it itself. Nobody was pushing it. Exactly. That's, we need that. Genius. Yeah. If you don't do it, the city will remind I know, you. I promise, true, yeah. Matt. <laughs>